Alright, hello everyone, it's JSTAR321 here again, and we are back with more Mortal Kombat Deceptions Conquest mode. In the last video, Damashi told us that we can possibly enter the Mortal Kombat tournament. And to do that, we need to go to Earthrealm. So, let's do it. And here we are, back in Earthrealm. Now the first thing you're going to want to do upon returning to Earthrealm is, before you go to the main mission there, that green aura, talk to this guy here. Remember he gave us a side quest when we first went through Earthrealm? And he actually told us to discover what the purpose of these rocks are, I guess, over here. So we now know that it's basically a portal. Let's go ahead and tell him that. You say it's a portal to another world? How can that be possible? I shall have to investigate further. And there you go, he gives you 600 sapphire coins as a reward. Now that we've done that, it's actually quite strange that he's still standing outside of that temple at 10 pm at night. Normally he goes inside. That's very strange. Anyway, now that we've done that, we can go to the main mission over here. And as you can see, it's Kenshi. So, let's go speak to him. Please excuse my curiosity, but why do you cover your eyes? Are you blind? Yes, due to the treachery of the sorcerer Shang Tsung. You have met Shang Tsung? He preyed upon my desire to prove my superiority in combat. He promised to show me the location of a powerful sword that would complement my skills. The sword was entombed among the souls of my warrior ancestors. Shang Tsung consumed their souls to increase his power. The experience left me blinded. Is the sword from your tail the one you now carry? Yes. The sword guides me. Over the years it has shown me the way to use my other senses in combat. Most impressive. You are truly a warrior of distinction. Now I have but one goal, to slay the sorcerer who blinded me. Doing so will free the consumed souls of my ancestors. If you provide me with his location, I will teach you to fight without your eyes. I am to enter his Mortal Kombat tournament. When I find him, I will return to you with any information I uncover. My search for Shang Tsung will continue here in the north. I suggest you look in the southwest. Yep, so there you go. Kenshi's awesome, I love him. And as you heard, he just said that if we locate Shang Tsung for him, he will teach us how to fight without our eyes, basically, without our senses. So, what we're going to be doing here is pretty much main mission to main mission. There aren't very many side missions to tackle on our return here in Earthrealm. And. We will complete training with two characters, Kenshi and Nightwolf. But before we do that, let's go over to the Lin Kuei headquarters here and speak to Sub-Zero. Remember when we were in Outworld, we saw Smoke, and Smoke gave us a message. There you go, a note to Sub-Zero. So we have to deliver this to Sub-Zero here. There you go, take this note to Sub-Zero in Earthrealm. Well, we're here, let's do it. Oops. Don't go ahead and repeat the training, just press triangle. You have a message from Smoke in Outworld? I will take that. Yes, this information will be most valuable to us. Here is your reward. You have served the Link way well. There you go, 500 Onyx coins. And now, we will go to the main mission, which is actually training with Nightwolf. So we do training with Nightwolf first, and then later on, once we find Shang Tsung, we will do Kenshi's training. This is great because once you complete the training here with Nightwolf, Shujinko ages again. 
So, let's go ahead and do it. This is sacred ground, stranger. I am Nightwolf. I must ask you to leave this place before your evil taint defiles the sanctity of these grounds. I do not understand. I am Shujinko. I assure you that I mean no disrespect to your people. I sense corruption in your soul, Shujinko. A spiritual contamination that I have never before perceived. I feel no touch of evil, but my travels have taken me to many worlds. Perhaps it is a result of my journeys in the Nether Realm. It is possible. If you will allow me, I may be able to purge this contagion from your being, although it will take many years to accomplish. Many years? It will delay my quest, but I suppose I should take advantage of your offer. <laughs> many years? Jesus Christ, who has that amount of time? Nightwolf. Nightwolf. Here we go. We're going to learn how to play as Nightwolf. One of my most favorite characters in this game, and pretty much all the Mortal Kombat games. Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, he was an absolute beast. I love him. So let's do it. Now, Shujinko, you will begin your spiritual cleansing with Val Tudo High Attacks. Yep. The next lessons will teach you Val Tudo Low Attacks. I don't really like this style, the fighting style Val Tudo. You learn quickly. I prefer his other one, Taekwondo. It's a lot more flashier, looks awesome, a lot of kicks. Feel the force of nature. These are the power and pop up attacks of Val Tudo. Ooh, missed that. Usually I can chain that into a two hit combo. Life is a series of events leading to a conclusion. It is not unlike Val Tudo basic combos, which allow you to execute one attack after another until you reach victory. So we'll do some basic combos here. Nothing special. Fine finish. Fine finish. Now that you've learned the basic combos, we will move on to Val Tudo advanced combos. And great, the music's glitching out. Fucking piece of shit. I can't stand it when this happens. <laughs> you know, I usually do about three test runs of an area before I do the final recording. And on all the previous three test runs, the music was perfect the whole time. And now, when I'm doing the recording, it fucks up. Fuck you, game. Your next lessons will encompass Taekwondo high attacks. Oh, look at that kick. That's awesome. Brilliant performance. Now you will learn Taekwondo basic low attacks. That was a nice one. Three hit combo. Low, medium, then a high kick. Taekwondo also utilizes power and pop up attacks. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, so a lot of kicks in the Taekwondo style. That's what it's renowned for. Now try Taekwondo basic combos. Next, Taekwondo advanced combos. That's a pretty cool one. This is actually a good combo. Circle back XX because it finishes off with two low attacks and like I keep saying to you guys in the previous videos, the AI is renowned for ducking a lot of the time, so that can really throw them off. It's a pretty good combo. The last of your high attack training will cover the fighting style of Tomahawks. Fuck, I'm getting sick of hearing this same loop over again. The Tomahawks basic low attacks will also aid you later in your journeys. Quickly. Finally, Tomahawks have their own power and pop up attack. That's pretty cool. I tend to use this one quite a lot forward triangle. I don't know, it's just really good because you can do a combo. 
with it, which we will learn a bit later, hopefully. There are basic combos within the Tomahawk's fighting style as well. All two hit combos. Rubbish. I'll never be doing any of those in a real fight. Finally, Tomahawk's advanced combos. Here we go. Yeah, that one. Oh no, this is it here. Square triangle, forward triangle. I love this combo. Look at that. Oops, missed the last hit there. And this one's pretty good too. Finishes off with a high kick to the face. I tend to use that combo quite a lot. Against the AI. Much like a spider's web, life is interconnected. To understand this, practice connecting your fighting styles together during combos to create intricate attacks. Good, now try this style branching combo. Oh, you gotta be quick with that one. You gotta like start pressing back XX really quickly, otherwise it won't register. It's pretty fucked up. Finally, show me that you can handle this last style branching combo. On to special moves now. Yep, now I will teach you the mystical fighting moves of my ancestors. These special moves can change the tide of battle. Now it's quite strange because you have to do each of Nightwolf's special moves four times. Like, is that really necessary? Every other character that we've learnt thus far, you only have to do it twice. Why four times? Well done, now try this one. See, we've got to do this four times. Like, what's the point? I get it, forward forward circle, twice is more than enough. Impressive, let us try another special move. This is a pretty cool move, but see the thing is, if your opponent moves, then it won't hit. It sort of reminds me of Ashra's attack, where she shoots that fireball in the air and it falls down onto her opponent, you know, and unless they're standing completely still, it won't hit. Nightwolf's lightning attack there sort of reminds me of that. You are learning quickly, but you still have one left to master. This move, even though it looks really cool, you know, you can reflect your opponent's projectile attack. I just never use it in a real fight, because it's really hard to predict when your opponent's going to do a projectile attack, and nine times out of ten anyway, you're just going to sidestep out of the way. It's sort of pointless in this game. You've learned my special attacks, but can you execute them while I attack you? I certainly can. Oh, maybe not. Fuck. See what I mean? I just sidestepped that arrow attack there. Oh god, this is going to be... Oh, I got him there. Lucky. Quick. Fuck. Do it. See what I mean? It's sort of hard to hit with that lightning attack. Unless they're standing completely still, like I said. It's just very difficult to hit them with it. I've taught you much, Shujinko, but for your final test, you must fight me. Round okay. One. Let me check a combo. Square, 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 L1 circle. That's what I'm going to do. Beautiful. Ooh, ouch. That's got to be one of my most favorite moves. Forward, forward, circle. It's just so good because... See, I think... See, I just keep hitting him. <laughs> I mean, I should probably stop this, but... I'm trying to prove a point here. Like I've said before, when you press buttons, the AI is programmed to attack. And because that shoulder dash is so quick, you know, it just beats your opponent's attack. Oh, here we go. Shujinko spent many years with Nightwolf, who taught him much about the spirit of the warrior. Through Nightwolf's teachings, Shujinko expanded his consciousness and heightened his awareness. So now, we have aged quite a bit. You have accomplished much since beginning your spiritual cleansing, Shujinko. Though the taint of evil continues its hold on you, my training has given you the ability to control it. I am grateful for what you have done for me, Nightwolf. I wish you luck on your journeys. You are always welcome in the lands of my forefathers.
Awesome. Look at him. Look at Shujinko. He's got a beard, a goatee by the looks of it, little moustache. His hair is grey. Looks like he's wearing some neat body armor too. Looks like a wise old man now. But as we progress, we will age further. Now, once you've done that with Nightwolf the training, cross this zigzag bridge and go speak to Wen, the elder here. He will give you a side mission. Shujinko, I am sorry. I know you trained hard to enter the tournament, but sadly, the White Lotus could not wait for your return. Liu Kang is a more than able combatant and will represent the White Lotus honorably. Nonetheless, you can still aid Earthrealm as a member of the White Lotus. We have heard of several strange beastmen roaming the countryside. Locate and defeat these strange beastmen for the White Lotus. There you go. And we get a White Lotus emblem. A headband given only to members of the White Lotus Society. So we are now a member of the White Lotus Society. And as you heard when the Elder there, he just said that they couldn't wait, they had to quickly choose a champion to represent Earthrealm, and Liu Kang was chosen. Not you, because you were too busy fucking around in the other realms, doing your own shit. But he did give us membership to the White Lotus Society so that's good and what we need to do is deal with these so-called beast men which is what he referred to them as but they're basically just Tarkata as you can see fucking Tarkata anyway approach them to initiate a little conversation uh, fresh meat smells like a warrior Shao Kahn promised us a coin for each of their teeth let us feast my brothers and suck the marrow from his bones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sounded terrible. I wasn't intimidated at all. So, it's actually Baraka who we have to fight. And as you can see, it says defeat Baraka. Only your weapon will do Round damage. One. So let's get straight into the weapon fighting style, the Tomahawks, and he doesn't have too many combos, but the main one I tend to use here is this combo. And I just keep doing that over and over again. Occasionally I'll mix it up with, oh god, the ducking bullshit. That four hit combo, square, triangle, X, circle. Okay, come on, Baraka. He can be a bit of a pain in a pain in the ass. <laughs> Ooh, that was good. There we go. Round two. Overall, it's not too hard. But he was gonna block every attack there. Back! Ooh, a throw. Okay. God, this blocking is really starting to get to me. Okay, he's done. There we go. So we have just defeated the so-called Beast Men. Once you defeat Baraka, all the rest run off. So that side mission is now complete. There you go, they're all gone. And we can now go back and tell Wen the Elder that we got rid of them. So here he is, let's talk to him. Once again, you have proven your worth to the White Lotus. Continue your adventures and see if you can discover why these Takata were sent to our realm. Yes. Not yet. What we're going to do now is go to the main mission. That's pretty much all we're going to do from here on out. And as you can see, look who it is. It's that unacceptable creature, Shang Tsung. And no, this isn't a fight challenge. Well, actually it is a fight, but... 
It's not like the Netherrealm fight challenge. All we have to do here is defeat him in two rounds of combat. But first, let's see what he's doing here. Greetings, stranger. I search for experienced fighters to take part in a competition. Do you know of any? I am quite adept at many fighting styles. Who are you? What is this contest you speak of? I am Shang Tsung. My Mortal Kombat tournament will begin soon on my island fortress. Only the best will be allowed to enter. Shang Tsung? Long have I heard tales of your foul deeds. I am Shu Jinko. Since I was a boy, I have dreamed of winning the Mortal Kombat tournament and ridding Earthrealm of your tyranny. Is that so? Then it seems I will have to test the great Shu Jinko. You are most welcome to compete, but only if you can prove that you are worthy of such an honor. Fight! <laughs> I love that bit of dialogue there with Shang Tsung. Is that so? Great line. Your combat skill will be tested by Shang Tsung. Don't worry, we're not bleeding to death. You know, we don't start with half our life or whatever other bullshit conditions there are. We just defeat him simply in two rounds of combat. So it's really good. No stress at all. Ooh, okay. I love how when you shoot out Nightwolf's arrows, it tends to stick into his opponent. Look and see how he's got two in there now. Let's do a third one. There's three arrows in him. Four. <laughs> Five arrows. And they stay there during the whole round. I think that's cool. Yeah, throw your fireball. As if he's going to do that. Back. Right. Let's mix it up, do a bit of... Fuck! Bit of uh, low attacking. Awesome. Now we're going to finish you off in our weapon fighting style, the Tomahawks. Let's try and get him with a lightning. Ooh, I got him while he was on the ground. That was pretty cool. I've never done that before. Interesting. And you get 400 sapphire coins for defeating him. Most impressive, Shujinko. You are indeed worthy to compete in the Mortal Kombat tournament. I will enjoy consuming your soul when you lose. I do not think so. It has been my greatest desire to win Earthrealm's freedom from you and your master, Shao Kahn. Of course, I am not the only one who seeks your defeat. I request that an acquaintance of mine be allowed to compete as well. He too longs to challenge you. <laughs> Would this acquaintance of yours be the blind swordsman Kenshi? He has been searching for me for quite some time, has he not? You know? There is little in this realm that escapes my attention, though I must admit I was surprised to learn that he had survived our previous encounter. Return to him and inform him that he is welcome to face me on my island in the Lost Sea. The tournament is fast approaching, however. He must hurry if he wishes to fulfill his quest for revenge. So there you go, we have been invited to the Mortal Kombat tournament, and so has Kenshi. So let's go speak to Kenshi, he's right over here, not too far from where Shang Tsung was. We'll tell him that we've basically just found Shang Tsung, and because of that, Kenshi will teach us his ways of combat. Shujenko, it has been many years since last we met. Although I have sensed Shang Tsung's presence on many occasions, I have not been able to locate him. I have found him, Kenshi. He has invited us both to his island to face him in mortal combat. He has been watching you. He knew that you were searching for him. I had suspected as much. This explains why I have never been able to find him. He was always one step ahead of me. I thank you for bringing me this news. I will now teach you to do battle without the use of your eyes. Awesome, so here we go. We learn how to play as Kenshi. Kenshi is a pretty cool character, but see a lot of his moves are just identical to Ermax in this game, I find. 
This first fighting style Tai Chi was taught to me when I was young. We will begin with Tai Chi basic high attacks. So you know, I tend to prefer to play as Ermac most of the time as opposed to Kenshi. I will now teach you low attacks. Begin with these Tai Chi basic low attacks. Now you will learn some of the more satisfying attacks. I will teach you Tai Chi power and pop up attacks. That's nice. Push. You have learned much, but I have taught you only single attacks. You will now practice Tai Chi basic combos. <laughs> Excellent, you have mastered my basic combos. Let us see how you fare with more advanced Tai Chi combos. I don't really like his Tai Chi fighting style, but his other one, Judo, is really good. And here we go, this is it. Now for the basic high attacks of the Judo fighting style. I learned this during my adolescent years. Now it's really good, I'm not going to press X just yet, because if you press square or triangle, instead of doing like a regular punch attack or a kick, he does a throw. You know, that's what Judo is all about. So, you know, it's just something different. I like that about Kenshi, the Judo fighting style. Now for Judo basic low attacks. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Next, practice these Judo power and pop up attacks. That's a great kick. Well done, now for Judo basic combos. Oh yeah, this is a nice three hit combo. Circle, circle, back triangle. Does a pop up attack and then you can follow up with an air juggle after it. Not bad Trujinko, now try Judo advanced combos. Are you fucking kidding me? The music shat itself again? Listen to this, what the fuck? piece of shit. The katana is an elegant weapon. I will teach you to train your body and your mind to harness its power. Excellent work. The katana fighting style is great. I love it. I'm impressed. Finally the katana basic low attacks. You know, although I don't think it does too much damage, which is a bit weird. Finally I will teach you these devastating katana power and pop up attacks. <laughs> Finally show me you can handle katana basic combos. The katana fighting style is great because some of the combos tend to hit ducking opponents. Sort of like Baraka, but I find Baraka's just, you know, got so much more power behind him as opposed to Kenshi here. But Kenshi's still good for that. Next you'll practice Katana advanced combos. See how he just swings it up wildly and downwards as well? Like this combo here will always stop a ducking opponent. Watch it. Look at that. Every attack will hit regardless of what your opponent's doing unless they're blocking <laughs> blocking a katana with your arms yeah sure you definitely have the gift but can you handle style branching combos these change from one fighting style to the next during the attack ooh I fucked that up there we go Now for a different style branching combo. Oh, come on. Yep, 
Brilliant. Brilliant. Complete another style branching combo. Oh, this is a big one. Look at this. Did it first go. I tend not to do that one in a real battle. I always forget it. It's just too long. This next lesson will teach you my telekinetic fighting moves. Okay, here we go. This is a great one. You can be at any distance in order to do this one. Oh, okay. I just proved myself wrong. But, I mean, you can be pretty damn far to do it, you know what I mean? You don't have to be that close. And same with this one. I find that Kenchi's... Okay. Yeah, I find that Kenchi's telekinetic moves have a bit more range than Ermax. Well done, now try this one. I could be wrong though. That's just how I perceive it though. Yeah, see, that was pretty far away. I don't think Ermac could do that. Oh, maybe he could. That was a respectable distance, I guess. This next special attack is not as easy. Kinetic slam. Pretty much exactly the same as Ermax telekinetic slam. Finally, this special attack will require that you teleport yourself behind your opponent. To me, that's not behind my opponent, that's in front of my opponent. Very good. Very good. In battle, you may be required to use any one of these telekinetic attacks at any given time. Attack me with all four of them. Do not hold back. Okay, here we go. Get away from me. Ah! Jesus! Yeah, you can always do that after you do the telekinetic slam. That's a nice little combo. Here we go, I'll show you. Telekinetic slam. Ah, come on, get it. And back forward X. See? Awesome combo there. For your final test, you must defeat me in battle. Fight. Okay, let's do it. And what do we got? I'm not going to do that last combo. That's just out of control. It's ridiculous. Triangle, triangle, triangle. L1 circle, back triangle. Let's do that. Ooh. Fuck. Judo fighting style now. I like staying in this fighting style, it's pretty good. Simply because of that combo. And how do we get out into the weapon fighting style? Okay. Let's do the big attack, look at those big swipes. Yeah, try and duck a piece of shit, I dare you. You got no chance. And there you go, that's our training with Kenshi complete. I have to say though, I prefer Nightwolf over Kenshi. Now that I have fulfilled my promise, I must leave for Shang Tsung's island. I only hope he has not been defeated before I arrive. Indeed, you have a long-standing vendetta with Shang Tsung. But I have dreamed of entering the Mortal Kombat tournament since I was young. You will have to wait your turn, my friend. If he is still alive when I am finished with him, you may take your revenge. We will see, Shujinko. I will meet you on the island. Okay, so Kenshi runs off to make his way to Shang Tsung's island to compete in the Mortal Kombat tournament, and we're gonna do the same. So we'll follow him. Or are we? Let's see what happens. Shujinko, I return to you because I sense that some change has taken place. You are different in some way. I have undergone a spiritual cleansing. The warrior Nightwolf had detected an evil stain upon my soul. He was unable to remove it completely, but he has given me the ability to suppress it. This is an unfortunate turn of events. Unfortunate? An evil stain has been cleansed from my soul. My sense of awareness is as heightened as it was when Master Bo Raicho trained me. The taint you refer to allows you to enter realms otherwise inaccessible to other beings. You will need to regain it in order to continue your quest. I suggest that you return to the Netherrealm. It will restore the impurities needed to enter the more accursed realms, 
Once your quest is finished, you are free to cleanse your spirit once more. I cannot believe that you would ask such a thing of me. Surely the contamination I am already forced to carry is enough to access... Do not question my order, Shujinko. I never promised your quest would be pleasant. You must fulfill your obligation to the Elder Gods. Return to the Netherrealm. Have you forgotten the Mortal Kombat tournament? I was on my way to Shang Tsung's island to compete. I understand your disappointment, but your dream of defeating Shang Tsung will have to wait. For now, you must fulfill your destiny. I... I will do as you ask. Damn. Too bad, Shujinka. Looks like your dream of defeating Shang Tsung in the Mortal Kombat tournament will have to wait. We have to follow what Damashi says. So let's go to the green aura now. Over here. Which is basically just at the portal. But before we can go into the portal and make our way to the nether realm, look who's standing there blocking us. It's Raiden. So let's talk to him. Be gone. This portal is not for use by mortals. Who are you? I am the Thunder God, Raiden. This ancient portal has been activated. I must secure it to prevent intrusion from other realms. Lord Raiden, I am Shujinko. I am the champion of the Elder Gods. It was I who opened the portal. Champion, you say? I think not. A champion of the Elder Gods would possess the might of ten warriors and could fight with his eyes closed. It is highly unlikely that you possess such abilities. Possess the might of ten warriors and fight with your eyes closed. That would be one strong motherfucker. Prove to Raiden that you are the champion of the Elder Gods. And we're fighting as Kenshi. Jesus, I've already forgotten his combos. Ah. There we go. Love it. Let's do a bit of telekinetic bullshit, shall we? Actually, I'm going to start throwing Raiden a fair bit. Fuck! Maybe not. Come on, stop fucking blocking. Are you kidding me? Fine, I'll throw you. Okay, uh, I'm panicking now. Fuck! I don't have any breakers left. Fuck! <clears throat> I tend to lose a few times when fighting Raiden. It's no big deal. Why isn't the fuck? Okay, I'm probably gonna have to do this again. He's just blocking everything. Oh. Look at that, everything! What else we got? Yep, that's fine. Let's try again. This time I'll try to be more sparing with my breakers, so to speak. Try not to use them all in the first round. Can't help myself there. Fucked up the juggle combo there. This is really starting to piss me off. I fucking had it. I just... Damn it! Gotcha! Yes, that's it. Out. Done. One more round to go. I can do it. I've still got two breakers left. He's only got one breaker. We're in judo. <sighs> Jesus. What the fuck? Oh 
god, I'm just, I'm panicking. I'm fucking panicking right now. God damn! Fuck! Round three. I hate. I ha I hate this fight. Look at that! Look at that! Gotcha. It just doesn't. I don't know. Kenshi just seems to do weak damage. Maybe I should be doing bigger combos or something. I just suck with him. That's basically all it is. And Raiden's a bitch. That's what else is annoying. Oh god. That's it. Okay, that's it, Raiden. Just... Yep, goodbye. Out. Get. Out. Thank god that fight is over. What a bitch to defeat. You seem to possess much strength and skill, Shujinko. Forgive me for doubting you, but if the Elder Gods have indeed unleashed their champion, they must be concerned that the end of the realms is near. Your presence might be connected with the Mortal Kombat tournament here in Earthrealm. Have you come to aid us? I did come to fight for Earthrealm in the tournament, but I have recently been ordered to the Netherrealm. I am sure the Elder Gods have their reasons for redirecting you at so crucial a time. It may be that the Shaolin have already chosen their representative. In any event, I will keep a close watch over the tournament's proceedings. Shang Tsung is a treacherous sorcerer. If he wins this time, Earthrealm will belong to Shao Kahn. If you need my aid when I am finished with my task in the Netherrealm, search for me. I will gladly assist you. Thank you, Shujinko. Good luck. Okay, so once you defeat Raiden, you will have access to the portal. To the Nexus and we need to make our way to the Nether Realm. I love the Nether Realm, it's such a gruesome dark area to explore. So that will be part two of the Nether Realm. And here we are in the Nexus, and if we look at the portals, as you can see, the green aura, our main mission is telling us to go into the portal leading into the nether realm. So, as usual guys, I will leave it here and I will see you in the next video where we go through the nether realm part 2. I'm out.